What's up guys, hope you're doing great, this is your boy Copy Shots. In today's video, we're going to look at how we can transform this image from this to this. Let's get right into it. So I did this photo shoot and it's quite similar to one that I did a few months ago. Um, this particular image, you see the similarities in color, the background, and probably for the most part what the model is wearing. So um, what we are going to do this time around is to tweak it a little bit to make it look significantly different in just some parts of the image with this simple technique or effect. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate my image. And uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to filter, then to blur, then to motion blur. And immediately you see that the effect is actually playing on the image. But of course, you're not going to be working with this this way, way too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the distance over here, which is at 176. I'm going to reduce it to, let's say, um, anywhere around 127. Seems a little bit reduced. And I'm going to hit OK. Taking a look at this layer, you notice that if I turn this off, I am back to factory settings. <laughs> All right, so that's what you need to do so that you can ensure, um, you know, reverting back if you need to. All right, so what we are simply going to do is we're going to create a mask. And to create a mask, you have to go down here. Then you create a mask as the layer is selected. So this is a white mask, which means that if we paint on the image with the white max with black we are going to review what's behind which is this to appear within where we painted so we're going to use a brush tool and with the help of the brush tool i'm going to open it up a little bit okay make sure your flow is a little bit reduced because we don't want too much of the effect to just happen all right so let's say somewhere around 29 then ensure that your hardness is all the way to zero to ensure softening at the edges of the brushing. So let's just, uh, you know, zoom into it a little bit this way. All right. Then um, let's paint in the areas that we don't want the effect to be. So I'm going to paint in the face just like so, revealing what's behind. I'm going to paint over the arm. Okay. If you feel that your effect is not happening real quick, you can increase the flow a little bit. So let's just paint through and be very subtle with your strokes. Okay. Just like so. Let's push it a little bit way down and paint across. Take the effect of the legs, just like so, over here as well. And I want the effect to actually be very prominent over there in the hair as well as the background. So let's zoom out all the way and we are left with this beautiful image. But I feel like there's something I need to clean over here. It's creating this hello effect that I don't necessarily like. And I think I'm done. So this is basically how I went about the image that you saw on my Instagram page. If you're following me at Kobe Shots on Instagram, you probably might have come across this image. And um, someone sent a message asking how I was able to achieve this look in the hair and in the background. The motion blur is simply what you need to do. So a quick recap, you go to filter, blur, motion blur and the effect is created you create a mask of the image and you paint in the areas that you don't want the effect to be and you're left with something pretty much that you can post and be happy about and definitely your followers are also going to appreciate it like mine did so thank you very much for watching this video to the very end if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification button so anytime i upload a new video over here on my youtube channel you'll be the first to be notified and the first to see it until the next video i'm going to catch you later have a wonderful day See ya.